Well, hey there. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to dive right into these. But first, I just want to say there are some big cards, uh, some nasty, some nasty things you're going to see in here. And one is really, really uh, going to be a problem. And it's just an uncommon. Uh, we're going to get to it in just a sec. Let's 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 just, let's start plowing through these. Invert and invent. All right. We got a one drop here. Red and red, red or blue. Switch the power and toughness of each of up to two target creatures. That on its own is not bad. It's only a one drop. Invent, search your library for an instant card and or a sorcery card. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your library. Six drop, yeah, it's a steep cost, but you're essentially tutoring up two instant and or sorcery cards. That's pretty good. Um, how much play will it see? I'm not sure. Definitely only in this standard. It's not gonna make its way out of standard, I doubt. Uh, and of course, unlimited. Integrity and intervention. One drop, go Boris. Uh, four drop on the right here. Uh, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Okay. Intervention. Intervention deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. Uh, what more would you really want? It's 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 pretty basic. Uh, yeah, that, that's all I got to say. It's a basic card. Uh, this card, however, is not basic. Thoughtbound Phantasm. And no, this is not the uncommon I was talking about. It is a one drop creature spirit with defender as, as a two two. Already we're off to a really good start. But if when I don't I, I almost said if when this card finds its way into uh, certain control builds, especially those around the surveil mechanic, this thing you'll see play sets of in those decks. Whenever you surveil, put a plus one plus one counter on Thought Bound Phantasm. Awesome. As long as Thought Bound Phantasm has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. So this thing over time is going to get huge. And uh, yeah, in the right control build, this thing is going to be something, a force to be reckoned with for sure. The Multifarious Shapeshifter. Two drop. Two drop Shapeshifter. Sounds so good so far. Legendary. Uh, when Lazav the Multifarious enters a battlefield, surveil one. Look at the top card of your library. You may put it into your graveyard. X. Lazav becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard with converted mana cost X. Except its name is Lazav the Multifarious. It's legendary in addition to its other types, and it has this ability. Okay, not bad. Now, this thing, and don't get carried away with what I say here, but Scarab God is gone. Scarab God's rotating out, okay, very soon here. We got only a couple weeks. This is basically its replacement. Let's just face facts, guys. This is its replacement, all right? It's nothing crazy. It's nothing that, that's, it's nothing compared to Scarab God, but being that it only costs two to bring out, I think it's pretty cool. And of course, it's going to find its way in control builds. It's just what it does. That's what, that's what Dimer does. So, pretty neat card. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this one. But I think that X cost, you know, that makes it a little too steep. It could have been like four or three to make a copy of that. Maybe, but I mean, if, I don't know. Anyway, City Watch Sphinx. It's a six drop. Big old limited bomb. When uh, City Watch Sphinx dies, surveil two. Not bad. Just got flying. I mean, this thing just be splashed in in the limited format. Uh, other than that, it shouldn't really see too much play. Mission Briefing, this sucker will see some play. It is a two-drop instant. It's a rare. Oh, yeah. Uh, surveil two, then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. So this thing is like a budget uh, to help out like a Snapcaster. Or, you know, if you don't have the money for a Snap, you can always get something like this. Definitely going to see a lot of play. Uh, in various formats. I like this card. Uh, I can't wait to see what it does in standard. League Guild Mage. It's a deuce drop. That's right. Human Wizard. Cool. I like that already. Uncommon. It's uh, f for four. You tap it, draw a card. That's not bad already. For X and a mountain, tap it. Copy. Target instant or sorcery spell you control. Convert a mana cost X. You may choose new targets for this copy. Absolutely. These are sweet. I am really enjoying all these guild mages across the board. Got to be honest. They are really sweet. But 2-2, two, two, this sucker is easily removed. It ain't. I mean, you got to either protect these kind of things. And these are nasty weapons, really. I mean, you they're, a, they're great to just dump mana into. You know, what do they call them? Mana sink or whatnot. 
great card for that, but they're just very easy to remove. So, I mean, you bring this thing out, don't expect it to last too long. Price of Fame, four drop. This spell costs two less to cast if it targets a legendary creature. Destroy target creature. Surveil two. Not bad. It's it's nothing like some of the other removals we've seen, but the big perk is a surveil two, and if it's targeting legendary, it only costs two, and you get the surveil two. Not bad, uh, and it's removal. Uh, overall, I give it like a C C plus. It's going to see a little bit of play. Dark Blade Agent uh, three drop. As long as you've surveilled this turn, Dark Blade Agent has Death Touch. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Really cool. Nice little neat trick to get some card draw ability. You're, you're kind of forcing the move. Like, do you want me to draw a card or you want to lose a creature, bro? Which one you want to do? That's kind of the route this card's taken. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Not sure how much play it's going to see, though. Pass Wall Adept. Two drop. For three, target creature can't be blocked this turn. I just like when things can't be blocked. Uh, it only has three toughness. But with the whole mentor ability, I mean, you give this thing mentor, ba bam, and now it's a one, now it's a two four, you know, and a little bit more difficult to remove. Uh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. I love it. I love it. I love just attacking with things that can't be blocked and uh, just going to pound town. I, I like these kind of cards. Cool. Legion Guild Mage, it's a deuce drop. Six. Uh, Legion Guild Mage deals three damage to each opponent. Each opponent. Pretty cool. For three, tap another target creature uh two two i honestly i just feel this is one of the weaker uh guild mages um am, am i wrong am i missing something here i think it's i think it's good i think it's a human wizard i mean it has its perks uh, again it's a, one of those guild mages too too easy to remove uh, am i missing something here guys i think it's all right i really do it's okay this card's fun. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Erratic Cyclops. And yeah, I threw up an Apex of Power up there. Sorry about the quality of that card. Uh, Trample. It's four to bring out. This card I'm going to play in decks. It's going to be a blast. I'm really excited for it. Trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erratic Cyclops gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. It's a zero eight. So essentially, we have Apex of Power. Yes, the casting cost is ridiculous, but it finally gave Apex of Power a win con, and <laughs> Erratic Cyclops will combo nicely with it because it's 10 to cast, exile the top seven cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may cast non land cards, exile this way. If this spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of your mana pool. So, of course, you got eventually you have to get the mana to do all this, but once you're able to have that kind of mana, then this thing becomes let's say you cast the Apex of Power, you now have a 10 8 on your hand. But also, you can make this thing into a 28 because uh, we can add 10 mana of any one color to our mana pool. Spend that by exiling the top seven cards, or, or spend that on the top seven cards we exiled and choosing uh, cards in there that we want to cast. Really ridiculous, as, as long as we're grabbing the instant sorcery spells. Uh, it has potential to be a 10 8 or 28. I'm just saying, this thing is. It's going to find a lot of uh, a lot of homes and a lot of fun decks, I think, are going to be made out of this one. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I really can't. Uh, Night Veil vale Predator. I like this card. Flying, Death Touch, Hexproof. Yes, yes, yes. I just like it. That's that's raw power. I mean, that's like, that's like a Hemi under the engine, you know? It's like, man, I'll miss you up, boy. You know, it's just, it's just got some power there. Night Veil vale Predator, sweet card, four drop. It's Vampire as well. But those three abilities are, are just always sought after. Flying, Death Touch, and Hexproof. It's all on one card. Only downside, it's a 3-3. Three, three. If it was a 4-4, four, four, this thing would be off the chisel. No, 3-3 three, is not bad either because it's got Hexproof. Can't even be targeted, man. It's going to be a lot of fun, this card. Uh, definitely going to have to have some cards that sack creatures uh, or force your opponent to sack to get rid of this thing. But awesome card. I'm really pumped about it. And just, uh, you know, pump this thing up, make it bigger. This is Flying, Death Touch, Hexproof. Oh, man. A lot of fun. Doom Whisperer. Yes, another card. That's a double yes for me. Back to back. It's crazy, I know. Five drop. Flying and Trample, 6-6. Six, six. Are you out of your mind, Wizards? All right, already, that's nuts. That 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 is crazy. You know, back in the day, to get a 6-6 a six, six Flying and Trample, you'd have to sacrifice, like, a creature a turn or something at the casting cost of five or even six. Uh, this thing is, is 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 Billy badass. I really like it. Pay two life, surveil two, even better. Uh, Nightmare Demon is going to find a lot of homes and a lot of decks, 
And uh, this thing in limited is going to be nuts if someone pulls it. Uh, you're definitely going to want to run black for sure at that point. But it will see play in standard. Uh, I'm already excited to make some decks with this thing. I can't believe how strong it is and for how low of, for how low of casting cost. They could have put this thing at six to cast. But they didn't. They went with five. And I think that was a brilliant choice. Well done. Hats off, Watsy. This card is nasty. I'm looking forward to, to playing them. Uh, never happened. Yeah, wish I could say that about a few girls. Uh, all right. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. Yep, cool card. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but the fact that it can be exiled, I think, makes it all the better. It's a sorcery. Lava Coil, 2-drop, awesome card. Lava Coil deals 4 damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Yes. Uh, for only 2, we're dealing 4 damage, and we're able to exile it if it's dead. Oh, please. That's great because there's so many things that are going to bring back cards. This is going to be a, uh, a standard staple that all red decks are going to want to see, at least if not in the sideboard. But the fact that everything can be brought back uh, from graveyards in this new uh, standard, you're going to want these in your deck. Golgari Raiders, 4-drop, Haste, Undergrowth. Uh, Raiders enters the battlefield with the plus one, plus one counter on it. For each creature card in your graveyard, decent, nothing crazy. You're gonna, it's it's going to fit in one of those decks where you just got to dump everything in your graveyard. Uh, you know, So for sure, it, it'll see some play. Uh, Glowspore Shaman, 2-drop, Elf Shaman. This card's fun. When Glowspore Shaman enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. You may put a land card from your grave, graveyard on top of your library. 3-1, real easy to remove, but uh, it's ramp, all right? It's, some, it's, a, it's a form of ramp, or at least you know, a little bit of mana fixing, you know, able to get, your, uh, get the land you want. Not bad. Aurelia, Avatar of Justice. I had to do like a little bit of editing on this sucker. It's a 4-drop angel flying mentor at beginning of, of your combat. Choose up to one creature you control. It gains plus 2, plus 0, Trample if it's red, and Vigilance if it's haste. Sweet angel. For a 4-drop, essentially it's a 4-5 for a 4-drop. Uh, and being able, if you wanted to give it this. I mean, at the beginning of your combat, choose up to one creature you control. We're choosing that. We can choose Avatar of Justice every time. Why not? And with that mentor ability, I mean, this thing is going to be a threat for sure. I'm excited to play Boros. That's one color I really haven't played a lot. The color combination, red and white, only because I didn't really like the last, uh, the last meta, the last standard uh, that we that's rotating out right now. There wasn't really too many great decks with red white, to be honest. But this card's really going to add to it, and uh, I'm excited to play it. Garrison Sergeant, five drop. Garrison Sergeant gets double strike if you control a gate. Yeah, that's cool and all, but no, uh, limited for sure. Uh, Sky Knight Legionnaire, flying haste two two. That's something, but no, it's just not going to see a whole lot of play. But maybe a one drop in a normal stand, if you're lucky. Uh, Centaur Mediator. It's a three dropper. When Centaur Mediator enters the battlefield, each player gains four life. That's cool. That's cool. It's a three three. I mean, it's a way to get some life out there. Not terrible. I've seen worse cards. Again, it's probably your limited. Uh, True Fire Captain. Four drop. This card's fun. Human Knight. It's got the mentor. Whenever True Fire Captain is dealt damage, deals that much damage to target player. I like this card. I think it's cool. I like that all these uh, uh, card, uh, combinations, all these guilds have uh, their own unique four dropper here with uh, two of one color and two of another. This card is going to be fun, though. It deals that much damage to target player whenever this thing is dealt damage. I like it. Uh, definitely going to see some play. Orkind Assassin. This is the card I'm talking about. This card's stupid. Uh, it's three drop. Creature Elf Assassin. It has Death Touch. All creatures able to block Okran Assassin do so. This thing is going to annihilate stuff. Yeah, g hello, Giant Growth, or anything you can just make, any way to make this creature bigger is, is, is the route you want to take. This, this is going to, people are going to hate playing this card. I'm telling you right now. People are seriously going to hate playing this card. I like the flavor on here, too. The dagger is just a distraction. I carry the real killer in a vial at my side. So this chick essentially just runs in to a room with a dagger, and she's like, everyone's like, oh, my God. But no, really, she's just spitting, like, these vials of uh, toxins on you. Oh, my God. Really cool. I'm just stabbing you. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Getting carried away here. 
Death Touch, all creatures able to block Okran, Assassin, do so. This is a sweet card. Pump this thing up, make it a 5-5. Five, five. Now you're going to wipe out a bunch of their creatures because they have to block. They got to block them. They got to block her. Uh, one of my favorite cards already. Going to see a lot of play. A lot of fun decks are going to include this. It's going to be the most hated card. One of the most hated cards, I guarantee you, uh, in this new standard. Conclave, Guild Mage, two drop. For one, creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. I guess, this, again, this is one of those Guild Mages, so it's easy to remove. Keep that in mind. Six, create a 2-2 green and white elf knight creature token with vigilance. Good thing is, we do have mentor abilities. So this thing is able to get a little bigger, which is kind of cool. For all these guild mages. I like the one. Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. That's sweet. You don't see that too often in cards. And this one has it. Plus we're able to get some more uh, elf knight creature tokens on the battlefield. Yeah, it's a steep price to pay, but not bad. Decent card. That's all the spoilers today, guys. What do you think? Favorite ones? Least favorite? Are you excited? I know I am. Uh, a couple of these cards are really standouts. And uh, they're going to be fun to play with. So make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please do. And uh, my ninjas, thank you very much for tuning in to Bad Boy Gaming. I'm Joy Moss, PLA.